Today, we're going to do one of Washingtonians' favorite outdoor activities. We're catching razor clams, coming right up. Hello and welcome to EcoUsk, where I, Daniel Kim, try to inspire you to go out into nature. So, razor clams are found on Washington's main beaches, such as Ocean Shores, Moncrox, Long Beach, and Twin Harbors. They're around a 3 hour drive from the big cities, so keep that in mind. And as you can see from the video, this is a popular sport. Lined up all along the beach, there are cars as far as the eyes can see. People are everywhere. Let's try finding a spot. But have you guys heard of razor clams before? They are long, tan in color, and quite big and delicious. In Washington, they are really popular things to eat. So we are allowed to hunt for razor clams during the season, which usually spans from November to April. And of course, there are set days you are allowed to raise a clam, and you can only have 15 per person with a license, which you can buy at a Big Five, Fred Meyers, and etc. So as we get into the water, we're entering the Pacific Ocean. Year round, the water comes down from Alaska, and so you have temperatures that range maybe around 40 degrees year round. It's gonna be extremely cold. Hunting begins in the low tide, and the window for hunting these clams is only around 2 hours. So to hunt these guys, what you need is a clam gun or a shovel, and with clam guns in particular, they work with suction. So first, what you need to do is find a hole where the razor clam might be at. Later in the season, it's harder to find, but it still can be done. Once you find a hole, plunge the clam gun in deep, and... Usually there's a hole on one of the handles. You cover that hole and it creates a suction effect and the sand is pulled up along with the clam. But you know, we had the hardest time finding clams, but you know, we still tried our best. <laughs> Eventually the 2 hour limit passed and we had finally finished clamming. But first we headed to my car and we decided to cook some food. Of course we had to process the razor clams first. We removed the organs, cut up the clam, removed the shell, and did the whole thing. Wash them up with fresh water and then they're ready to go. We brought ingredients for a stew called Purejige. It's a military style Korean soup. It was invented when American soldiers came over to Korea around the 1950s in the Korean War and a bunch of American products came along with the soldiers, such like spam, baked beans, and cheese. It became a fusion food and is popular by many people in Korea. You can find it in many Korean restaurants. Pro tip, keep the ventilation high when cooking in your car. Honestly, I don't recommend people do this, but of course we did it anyways. In the end, we didn't catch many clams, two or three, but you know, whatever, we still had fun and it was a good experience. Razor clamming season has ended, but there's always next year or later in the year with November coming along. I recommend you guys do it in the winter time. It's easier to clam and there are more opportunities and um, not as packed. Anyways, now it's your turn to get out there into nature. Peace. <laughs>